and welcome to a new edition of A Daily Debate. Uh, this evening we'll be debating ITB Berlin, which was inaugurated earlier in the day and it should be continuing through to the 13th of March. It's the world leading travel trade show. It will encompass uh, professionals, leaders and decision makers in the field of tourism. Uh, from the world at large. Egypt is participating in that event. Egypt has invested $1.7 million to participate in that event. This evening, with a distinguished panel, we'll be discussing this event and what are we expecting uh, from it. Uh, with us this evening is Mr. Mustafa Sultan, who is a board member at the Egyptian Tourism Agents Association. A pleasure to have you with us. It's uh, with us also this evening is Mr. Ramadan. Don Yusuf Tonto, who's uh, an aviation and tourism expert. A pleasure to have you with us. Uh, gentlemen, uh, first of all, if we can just shed light on ITB Berlin. What kind of a conference is it? For those who are not aware, what can we expect from ITB? Actually, as you mentioned, uh, ITB Berlin is the world's leading travel trade show worldwide. I think from my point of view, it is better than and bigger than WTM that is held in London, <coughs> MITT that is held in Moscow. And it is actually a good opportunity for all workers in tourism, stakeholders, decision makers, to meet together and unite supply and demand there. If you want to know uh, some numbers and figures about the countries attending this uh, event, around 180 countries mm. representing 10,500 workers in this field. Mm. Uh, visitors more than 180,000 for the five days event or three days event up to the conventions and debates going to be held there. Mm. So it is a very important occasion for us or, or for any touristic and destination countries to shed the light on their uh, media campaign, promotional campaign, and the customers there deserves to go and show the possibilities and concepts and new attitudes in tourism. Mm. Uh, Dr. or Mr. Mustafa, what to you does ITB represent? Uh, ITB, uh, this year is ITB is the 50th anniversary and uh, for Egypt. So Egypt uh, this year is a culture sponsor for the Jubilee of the 50th, 50th anniversary. Uh, it represents for us in the private sector the, uh, the most successful platform for the travel industry. Mm. Uh, actually, so we can meet with most of the tour operators and uh, travel uh, industry in, in mm. all over the world on one place. Yes. So it is the biggest market place all over the world. Mm. Yes. Um, we have invested $1.7 million in that. Um, <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, you, some other people from our audiences and even you will think that it is a big sum of money. I don't think it's a big sum, but I'm <laughs> saying we're investing because that much money, so there has to be me, a return on investment. Let me tell you something. I've been in uh, Germany um, three months ago, mm. and there's a situation happened there. I was attending uh, another event, uh, this event in uh, Hamburg. And there was a, a German man sitting beside me, and I, uh, he asked me, are you Egyptian? I said, yes. I asked him, have you ever visited Egypt before? Mm. He said, I like to go to Egypt, but I prefer to live more than going to Egypt. Yes. At that time, there was an incident happened. Uh, there, is a, there was an attack on a station, police station, and three people were killed. So you can figure out how is the situation and the image of Egypt abroad. Another situation in the hotel mm. where I was living, there was no channels or even anything about Egypt. Just another um, channels that used to insult Egypt and they say offensive uh, things about Egypt. Where is Egypt? Where is the media? Where is the, 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 how could you shed the light on Egypt's possibility and mm. tourist destination. Yes. So it is one of the main roles we have to play in different events worldwide, 1.7 1 million dollars, to cover an impactful promotional campaign for tourism in Egypt. It deserves and it is a challenge. We have lots of crises that we should so do something to stand against what is 
uh, what is used to say about Egypt and the fame Egypt worldwide. Mm -hmm. Um, our issue with tourism is not just in numbers, but it is also in the quality. Yes. I mean, when you talk about Egypt and what you can see in Egypt, uh, a governorate like uh, Luxor, for example, which is considered Culture. the largest uh, open museum worldwide, one third of uh, artifacts worldwide are just in that place. Yes. Yet, we are not a distinguished mm. elite tourist destination. Can we utilize forums like ITB to do this? Yes, definitely, because this year Egypt is a culture sponsor, so we are focusing mainly on the culture tourism, mm. which uh, it's mainly for uh, Luxor and Aswan mm. and Cairo. So uh, uh, ITB is the biggest platform as we agreed together, so we, uh, it is a very good, a good opportunity for all of us to uh, uh, in the travel industry to promote the culture destinations and mm. start to uh, to rebrand it in a nice way. Mm. Uh, this needs to be on uh, uh, perception management, so we need to manage the perception at the clients, the mindset for uh, the culture tourism, that mm. we have uh, uh, two-thirds of the monuments all over the world, we have uh, uh, many facilities, we have uh, many hotels that can accommodate conferences, exhibitions, uh, anything that they need in Egypt we can do. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually uh, one of the trends this year or one of the plans is to focus on the culture mm -hmm. tourism. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can, we can succeed in our mission. Mm -hmm. um, getting the tourist is two-sided. Mm -hmm. There are two things that you... The Minister of Tourism, mm -hmm. Dr. Hisham Zahazua, has declared Cairo uh, tourism declaration uh, certain months ago, mm. and the, the main themes was focusing on four main items. First of all, we have the security and safety, which was very allowed for the last four years uh, due to the uh, instability of the political situation in Egypt mm. and what's happening, and all of us know the impacts of this on tourism and the other side of life. Now we are unsure to the tourists that they, they could go wh uh, wherever they want, in different places, all sightseeing, they are safe and security has taken so much to do with them and yes. to prove it on the land. Mm. Second thing, the cultural uh, tourism, and that you said that uh, Luxor is retarded. Uh, yeah. Actually, the type of cultural tourism uh, as one type and tourism... I didn't say retarded. Uh, 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 <laughs> <little bit. laughs> Back to all of them, not much. Uh, mm. Actually, in tourism, culture, uh, cultural tourism, it mm. is not the priority of the tourist. Comes uh, uh, relaxation. Not the tourists that we are addressing, but there are certain uh, uh, tourists, this is a priority. Certain segmentation of tourists we are mm. talking about who used to travel. Not mm. all people, not poor people. Mm. Uh, our middle class, I'm talking about the majority they used to travel for diving, for sports, for uh, recreation, relaxation. But cultural, as I was tourist guide before, I found the people not too much are interested to do the uh, cultural tourism. Mm. But nowadays... Again, not the tourists that were attracting. <laughs> not the tourists who were attracting. Mm. For some years mm. uh, past, we, we know that certain uh, kind of tourists who used to come to Egypt who are used to, to buy Egypt all-inclusive with very cheap price. You know, once I read something, one was going to buy shoes and he found that the price of a tour for Egypt is more <laughs> cheaper than going mm. to or buying or getting that shoes. Mm. Uh, all-inclusive is something offensive for tourism in mm. Egypt or for Egypt at all. And uh, we have to focus on another class travel business class. Business class is a topic uh, that is going to be shown in this uh, ITB and with its new attitudes and new concepts and the facilities for the business class, you said we have to clean the house to do something domestic that attracts and facilitates their journey in Egypt. Mm. Mm. And mm. it's a big challenge, I think. Yeah, actually, we, we, we should go parallel in uh, in, 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 in many factors. Mm. Uh, first, we, we should have a crisis management unit mm. just to minimize losses and ensure that uh, tourist safety and limit uh, the negative media 
especially if it is exaggerated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, number two, we need uh, the perception management, and uh, this should limit also the negative media publicity. And uh, actually, we need to uh, to develop a very good communication campaign mm -hmm. to uh, overcome the current situation. Mm. Uh, number three, we should uh, provide some incentives for tourists and tr industry. Mm. Uh, this is normal in, uh, in crisis. Mm. Uh, number four, we could go for the domestic tourism. As we said, it's, uh, uh, we, we should increase the market share for the domestic tourism. Mm -hmm. And we should... Let's <laughs> focus on one thing. When we say we're going to ITB to market cultural tourism, how are we going to do this? Because it's not a matter... Egypt has surpassed the stage whereby you need to introduce your pyramid or the Sphinx or the Luxor Temple uh, to uh, your tourists. It, it this is known it, already. So <laughs> how are you marketing? It needs a new way to show it again. Mm. All the sightseeing in Egypt, especially the cultural, uh, is a priority for the Egyptian government. And as you know that there is a committee committee uh, uh, chaired by His Excellency Prime Minister and a subcommittee chaired by His Excellency Minister of Tourism mm. to assure on this uh, kind of tourism, resorts and cultural tourism. Mm. And how can we display it for them? What are, are we doing in ITB? We ITB, are they, are now, five day they are going are to, to display a film and movies about Egypt. New film was produced by <laughs> and ruled within the $1.7 million dollars to show the sighting in its new features, in its new image. What's the, what, such as what? I such mean, as, as an Egyptian, I want to know what is the new feature you of know, the You know new discoveries, new discoveries that behind the King uh, Tutankhamun, mm -hmm. they used to shed the light of it. We should have ambassad ambassadors like Dr. Zahi Hawass and some prominent figures to, um, to, to deliver a message mm -hmm. to the, uh, the people worldwide who, inter who are interested in this mm -hmm. and to believe them. They, don't, uh, they have credibility to show and to tell them the truth about what we want to deliver. Mm -hmm. Do you think that showing a movie about Egypt, new mm. discoveries which are already covered a lot in news and mm. covered in uh, uh, specialized uh, tourism channels and the Discovery Channel, what have you, do you think this will encourage the intellectual tourists to come? It's just a fact. Mm. Uh, not encourage, but uh, the, the minimum that we, we show that we are still there. We are still uh, doing our homework. We are still doing our best to... Uh, to welcome uh, your guests. Mm. But uh, the main thing in ITB is that we will meet, as we agreed, that it's the, leading world, the world's leading travel trade show. So mm. we, we, it's a very good opportunity to meet with the counterparts, our counterparts in, in, uh, in different countries. So, and to talk face to face, it's, uh, it's very good to give good signals about the destination. Mm. And uh, in the meantime, also we are focusing to, uh, to shift the segments, to approach new segments and to approach new uh, mm. markets that they are not doing uh, a, a large business to Egypt uh, nowadays mm. in, in order to encourage them by incentivize the tourism demand. Uh, this is very important mm. that we give them some incentives for uh, like uh, to waive the handling fees for uh, flights at the airports like Luxor and Aswan airports uh, to give them some incentives for the charter flights arriving at Sharm el Sheikh and the Hurghada airports. Mm. So uh, and we are we are already are doing this. So uh, hopefully that uh, will 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 gain something mm. from that. Uh, will this be a forum whereby we can mm. shift the mindset of some tourist uh, tour uh, operators or tourist uh, tour companies? companies mm. which have recently been cancelling their uh, trips to Egypt. Actually, uh, I'm sorry to take the question, mm. uh, actually uh, the, uh, this expansion is for trade. So we are, we are working with uh, B2B, business to business. Mm -hmm. But to change the, the customer mindset, it, uh, it, we must have a communication campaign uh, or, or a marketing campaign. The, like outdoors uh, uh, ads on the TV, on the media, uh, digital marketing, uh, so we're using the new technologies to reach the customers. But uh, for this exhibition, it's, uh, it's, an, uh, it's a platform to meet with the business partners. I think actually it is not the role only for the Ministry of Tourism mm. and the marketing uh, mm. uh, company. It's the role of the society and the NGOs. We have to unite our uh, efforts together in order to urge and be a good channel 
to move the, to them another concepts about Egypt. Mm -hmm. Actually, there is, you, you were asking about another class uh, that we are attracting or we're trying to attract if we have the other type of tourism, incentive <coughs> tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, people who used to travel for uh, conferences, exhibitions, they are a high class uh, uh, tourists and they used to expense lots of money in the, in the places they used to go. Egypt, after the Sharm el-Sheikh conferences and the, the Commissa, and the many other conferences held in Sharm el-Sheikh, Cairo, and whatsoever, and the media coverage was, uh, I think, was great. Mm. It will have a good influence and impact on them, but it needs more of efforts, actually. We have, as Dr. Mustafa said, we have to get aids in tourism, our touristic channels like Chick and Channel or whatsoever, it will help us uh, a big ads in international magazines, as we said, uh, other, <coughs> other neighbors in the area used to uh, show themselves via this magazine. No, we need a lot. We need lots of expenses. We need lots of criteria, media. To, to shed the light of e on Egypt and the, it's a new attitude. Egypt's planning for the growth. Something we have its title and we are going to show it in the ITB. Uh, the tourism industry is a sector that is being subsidized by the Egyptian people because it's the taxpayers that subsidize. Okay. And if we look in, mm. dissect it in reality, mm. who are we subsidizing? The hotel chains are not Egyptian. The tour operators are not Egyptian. The airliners are not Egyptian. Hasn't the time come for the Egyptians to empower that field a little bit more, to take more, uh, a more active role mm. in that field so that we feel, as a taxpayer, that I'm really subsidizing Egypt and not anybody else. Even if they are not Egyptians, they used to pay tax for Egypt. Mm. Even in, mm. in the time of flourishing economy and the flourishing tourism, they used to give Egypt money. They used to have their social responsibility. And the lots of chains, I don't want to mention any of them, mm. uh, used to have uh, activities in the uh, Egyptian society. So. To be Egyptian or, or not, they are playing a vital and positive role what in What are Egyptian. they playing today, now that we have a problem in tourism? What are those that are being subsidized to, Actually, in to ITB, help in marketing? In ITB, there are more than 52 hotels and 12 tourist companies there. Are they marketing for Egypt? For Egypt, yes. Just they are in Egypt and they are marketing for Egypt. Yeah. And they are in the booth of Egypt. Is this included in the $1.7 million? Uh, they have, uh, I think they have support from the uh, Ministry of, uh, of uh, Tourism and maybe... So how are they helping? They're helping I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if they have... The part of whose uh, 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 Part of their expenses is on the Ministry of Tourism. I'm not sure about mm. that, but every hotel has a support or has a certain part of subsidizing, yeah, but not all. Mm. Mm. Yeah, actually, as a, tourism is a labor-intensive uh, industry, so uh, we are not subsidizing the tourists. We are subsidizing our laborers because uh, w when they arrive, you know, is there is an equation that uh, every uh, hundred uh, tourists arrives, they create five new jobs. So, uh, at the current prices. Actually, uh, I, I agree with you 100% that we have... Uh, we are, uh, for this your, was the case. Yeah, yeah for yeah. your entry, yeah. is the second cheapest country mm. in terms of pricing in the Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report that issued the, in 2015 from the World Economic Forum. Who is the cheapest? Iran. We are number two. Iran is number one, and we are number two. Mm. So uh, they consider it a, a com a, a, a competitiveness uh, advantage, so mm. that we are a cheap destination and uh, we can sell on a very cheap prices. But uh, <coughs> the, the, the price now it's a very low, um, and we cannot pay good salaries to the employees. We cannot uh, do maintenance to uh, to the properties. So it uh, definitely it's reflect. Uh, bad on, on, on the industry mm -hmm. but uh, what mm. to you would be a success factor from itb berlin i mean um, in a couple mm. of days in a few days mm. um, the egyptian delegation will be heading back mm. um, what kind of news would you want to hear from them and to you as someone in the field would say well 
our participation was successful, the $1.7 million was well invested. Germany was used to be the first to come to Egypt and the life, the like too much, our peaches, our sunny weather, and that's exactly what we are seeking for, to return back to their... Mm. But the, now it's low. The, the, the it's low, failed. sure. You know, yeah. Russians, it comes first before they fail, mm. the fall of the, the aircraft. Mm. But still, they, are, they have passion about Egypt sightseeing, their peaches uh, in uh, Hurghada and Sharm el -Sheikh. That's exactly what we are trying to attract again. European, new markets, Scandinavians, and lots of markets are existing in ITB, not mm. only Russians, as Russia has a different uh, situation uh, uh, and the, it might take much time to return back. Mm. So we will we'll attempt to uh, attract this market, which is more worth it and uh, considered to be one of our main targets from attending WTM ITP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so our key success factor is uh, to sign a good contracts for the coming summer. Mm. If we succeed to sign good contracts with, uh, with and, and, and a large number of uh, seats capacity on the flights, that will get us more tourists. So this is our main key success factor. Mm -hmm. I'll capitalize on your aviation hat and maybe ask you about the prices of aviation in Egypt since um, our national courier is considered one of the most expensive. Maybe Actually, this is the only thing that kept <laughs> the prices up. I mean, while everything else dropped, this Actually, has maintained the, the, the price. Actually, the price of the ticket in domestic flights uh, has classes, different classes, mm. and it, it has differentiations up to the time of the flight and mm. the, the capacity of the aircraft. We have, uh, I'm, I'm not uh, actually uh, responsible for aviation to talk in such media, but, uh, and they uh, have, but, but, an expert but that, as, so as, one, as, as one who's working with that mm. uh, field, I think that they give different initiatives uh, mm. with the Ministry of Tourism. Uh, like uh, Masri Fulubna, and they used to offer a complete tour with accommodation, not more than 1,000 Egyptian pounds, including aircraft ticket. Mm. Uh, so uh, what we, we need more about this for Egyptians to go to Sharm el-Sheikh, Hurghada, Luxor, Aswan, and mm. different places. Mm. It's very cheap. Mm. Far out of this uh, initiative, initiatives, uh, campaign made by the Ministry of Tourism, uh, it will be a little bit expensive. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll, I'll, uh, before we wrap up, there's another issue that we need to address, and that is uh, for you to get an A-class uh, tourist, you also have to have A-class service, not just in terms of facilities, but also in terms of the quality of those embarking on delivering the service. And here I'll capitalize, since you're in the agents association, mm -hmm. what are we doing to develop the quality of the professional that does the job, that he should have proper language, mm. he should have the proper uh, training, training. training. Oh, yeah. as to how to do it. Rehabilitations of the whole workers and we have associations for this and training centers by the Ministry of Tourism and the different associations as Mr. Uh, Mustafa mm. is one of uh, these. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we have our own uh, training agenda, mm. so we actually we start to train uh, our employees how to deliver the service in a proper way. So, uh, in the Travel Agents Association, we have uh, specific uh, programs for uh, the employees inside the Travel Agent Associations mm. uh, mm. on both uh, sides, technicalities and soft skills. So, we also we want to develop uh, the customer service, uh, the communication skills, the presentation skills for the employees. Yeah. And on the technical service, how to deal with, uh, with the operation matters. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is our plan at the Travel Agent Station. And I think they, they have the same in uh, the Hotel Association. And the Ministry of Tourism is, uh, have budget, I think, for this as well. Mm -hmm. But it is not do enough we, for... Do we have control over, I mean, you'd have a five-star hotel chain. And mm -hmm. as of late, due mm -hmm. to maybe even the number of tourists, mm -hmm. the service has dropped. Do we as mm. Egypt, as the Ministry of Tourism or mm. any association, have control over the quality of the service being delivered? Because if the quality drops, then the mm. quality of the tourists as well drops. There are many organizations and ministry of, uh, uh, in the government used to make audit and inspections on these chains to review and find out what's negative and what's positive. Mm. And if there is anything to be amended, they used to make 
uh, rehabilitations for their workers. Uh, you, we have uh, cooking associations, we have hotel associations, we have tourism associations, all under the supervision of the Ministry of Tourism and the other people involved in it. So nothing should be decreased due to the, uh, uh, the lack of tourism and uh, they are potential enough to, to keep themselves and their, their, their skills. Mm -hmm. Even if it is not for Egypt, it will be we are uh, eager to go to abroad or to work in different international places. Mm -hmm. So no one could sacrifice his skills for the sake of uh, crisis. Uh, gentlemen, roughly speaking, over the past five years since the January 25th revolution, how many people have lost their job in that field? Uh, actually, we, can, we, we, we don't Even have if, no, no, that one size. Percentage. I mean, uh, do we, we have we can uh, estimate, 20, 30, uh, 50? Uh, yeah, around. We can estimate like uh, 500,000. Which is what percentage uh, of the overall? It uh, could be 25 percent. So a quarter of the people? Yeah, have yeah. two million uh, are yeah. working and in the this most direct people labor. That they left. The mm. most trained people they left. So, mm. uh, and this is a big issue for us now. Mm. Because we need to train the the newcomers how to deliver the same service which is, takes a lot of time so uh, do you cooperate with the ministry edu of education or the minister of higher education in that sure we have the because we have a faculty for of hotel tourism and of yes. tourism and hotels and actually we signed a protocol of cooperation to uh, train uh, cooks and uh, train uh, booking systems uh, employees and we have other uh, academy for culinary and cooks uh, in this field actually in the time of crisis which is the work and is a little bit less yeah. we took the advantage to uh, train the, uh, the staff yeah. well mm. uh, gentlemen i'd like to thank you both uh, for your fruitful uh, input and wish you the very best of luck in your uh, endeavors we hope all thank for you. Uh, and we'll continue with our discussion tourism in egypt now that we have 25 a percent uh, who lost their jobs in that sector. Is this due to security reasons or is it a political issue? We'll be right, uh, we'll be under discussion right after this, so please stay with us.